Hello, uh, I'm John St. John and um, I'm running for MLA in Parksville Corlicum here on Vancouver Island. For the people that don't know me, uh, I've got quite a background. I used to be a chauffeur to the elite. I've driven pretty well every aspect of the Canadian government. Uh, I've British, driven the British High Commission for the same 10 years. I've driven numerous diplomats from countries all over the world and even royalty. And I'd like to put my hand to my heart and tell you this. I've never seen such a bunch of crooks in my life. Isn't that a horrible thing to say? That these are the people that run the country, run the world. But all I found in those 10 years was lies and deceit. And what I want to talk to you today about is the Vancouver Freedom Rally, which some of you may have heard of. Uh, the 1,000 violent protesters, anti-maskers, and neo-Nazis that went on to Vancouver on Saturday and caused havoc. Well, I'm to tell you that is that why is 100% a lie. I was one of those neo-Nazis. <laughs> And I've never seen neo-Nazis stand there with hand on heart and sing the Canadian national anthem. Children, grandparents, mothers, fathers, the elderly, we're all there. I've never felt such an amazing patriotism. The love and the feeling of compassion for this country was overwhelming and I was proud to be there. It was magnificent. Even the Vancouver Police Department joined in. It was beautiful. No violence, just friendship, love and compassion. And they say we're anti-maskers. No, we're not. We're people that stand up for the rights and freedoms of Canada. We're standing up for your rights and your freedoms. We were there as a protest because we want the truth. Everything that your media is telling you is a lie. Isn't that hard to believe the media you trust? Who pays the wages we do? Who buys their papers? We do. The same with all our government leaders. I've never met such a bunch of liars and deceitful people in my life. I think telling a lie is part of the curriculum to become an MP, except for me. That will never be. It's not who I am. But we had this terrible report from the uh, Vancouver Island Labour Authority and even the Green Party condemning this rally as though we're all fascists and, and just rioters out to cause trouble. And again, that was a lie. I said I was there. But where were the other MPs? Where were the other MLAs? There was four MLAs that were running for independent, but I didn't see anyone else. Now, if you were an MP or you're an MLA or whatever you are, and you believe in the rights of your people, then you should have been there. Number one, to support us on our right to free speech. And number two, to find out the other side of the story. Every story has two sides. And how can any MP or leader of our government make an informed decision by knowing only one side? And it's only one side that's thrust to us daily, 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 newscast after newscast. Where's the other side of the story? Where's the alternatives? The Canadian right of, rights of, Charter of Rights and Freedoms demands that we have to know alternatives. If you've got to wear a mask, you have to be given the alternative ways to prevent the virus. If it was a real virus, there'd be one Pacific mask produced that we would all have to wear. No, wear, wear. no wearing underwear or bandanas or cotton or knitted masks. It would be mandated that we wore one Pacific one to pretend, prevent the distribution of the virus amongst the public. But you can wear anything. This proves that it's fake. Without further ado, let's cut to the chase and take a look at an ordinary surgical mask, and I'm using a vape. As you can see, that vape, which has aerosols the same size as COVID-19 or larger, goes through and around a surgical mask. Even the CDC and the World Health Organization have come forward to say it's just a form of flu. They are stepping back. And why are they stepping back? Because there's lawsuits all over the world. 
In Germany, there is over 30,000 doctors and 87,000 nurses all speaking out. They have now joined together in a worldwide organization to tell the truth about COVID. Where is this on your news? Where is this on our news? Where are our politicians telling us the good news that things are getting better? No, we just get the same, same old lies and deceit. If they really care about you, why aren't they demanding that we stop fighting amongst ourselves with people that are masked and unmasked? Why? Because they want you to fight amongst yourselves. They want you to look at each other instead of looking what they're doing. And behind the scenes, they are doing the most amazing atrocities. How many of you out there know that they're actually building internment camps? Don't believe me? Well, the MP for um, Kingston actually mentioned that in the House of Parliament. And what did they do? They turned off his mic because they don't want you to know. How many have we seen the, the concentration camps in World War II and we're building them over here? Oh my God, this is unbelievable. And guess what? When did, they get the, when did our government advertise for contractors to build these camps? Well, I'll tell you. September 2019, six months before the coronavirus even existed. And you tell me that we're the conspiracy theorists? We're the fact checkers, the real fact checkers. The fact checkers you see on Google and YouTube and those are actually owned by the pharmaceutical companies. How are you going to get a balance from that? No, we have got to stand together as the Canadian people. We've got to demand the truth. We built this country. Our ancestors died to keep this country free. And again, here we are going into something that is, should never be. We need to stand together. We need to get rid of our differences. Stop looking at those that are not wearing masks. In fact, look at them. I tell you the truth, look at someone not wearing a mask. Look in their eyes. They're vibrant. They, they light up. They're alive. Look at them. They're full of energy and vitality. Then look at those walking around in masks. Most of them look sick. Most of them look ill. And look at this, these, these so-called tests they're giving us. Another test, another test, another some positive. Yeah. Um, Premier, I'm wondering why mandatory testing isn't required regularly of teachers to catch anything before it might erupt. You know, I think a lot of people think that testing is going to really solve the whole problem, and it isn't. And in fact, if you're testing in a population that doesn't have very much COVID, you'll get false positives almost half the time. That is, the person actually doesn't have COVID, they have something else, they may have nothing. Uh, so it will just complicate the picture. But the people that don't wear masks do not get tested. So the only people that are being tested are you guys in masks. So you're the ones that are now the new positives. It's garbage. Even the PCR tests themselves are not even looking for COVID because there is no such thing. Call me a liar, call me an idiot, call me whatever you like. But I love you, I love the people of this country, and I can't sit back and stand to see these lies and see our people and planet destroyed. The only thing they look for in the tests are fragmentations of coronavirus, which could even be 30 years old. So anybody who's had the flu in the past 30 years will be proven positive for COVID. It's a joke, it's a ploy. It's not what they say it is. COVID has now virtually disappeared around the planet and now they still want more and more lockdowns. It's nothing to do with your health people. It's to do with control and it's to do with taking over the world to a new world government. Well, I'm gonna do my utmost to stop this. They might even kill me, but I can't think of a better way to go, protecting the rights and freedoms of Canada and this beautiful country. So bring it on. We the people built this country and we the people must stand up for it. One thing that's very, very important that we mentioned is this Christmas.